go back through explain. Um, now, the main thing is if we're going to use the hinge theorem, all right, and just, bit, and just follow, follow with me, Malik, so you guys can see this. Remember the hinge theorem. The hinge theorem only works. The hinge theorem only works when we have two congruent sides and an included angle. So we know those two sides are congruent, right? Obviously, two and two. Now, the other thing, Kevin, which is nice is we can also, it doesn't tell us this, but we know that that side is equal to that side because they are obviously reflexive and it's the same side for both triangles. So now we have two sides that are congruent to another two sides of the other triangle. We also have two included angles, right? And the included angles, this is a 90 degrees, and this one's 80 degrees. So remember, what the hinge theorem says is if your included angle is larger in one triangle between your other included angle, this side length is going to be greater than that side length. Okay. So therefore, comparing them, we can say, though, we can say that QT is going to be less than in measure of ST. Because its included angle between the congruent sides is less than the included angle of our included sides of our other triangle. All right? Um, to prove my, to prove the hinge theorem, guys, once again, let me just 